Hey, I spoke to Jeff on the phone this weekend. I don't think he got wind of his surprise party. Get wind? How do you mean get wind? What do you like, catch it and put it in a jar? No, silly. I mean, he didn't learn about the party. He didn't hear about it. He didn't get wind of it. Oh, uh, right. Well, why? Were you worried he'd figure it out? Well, sometimes I have a knack for letting these things slip. And yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to rock the boat. Rock the boat? Whose boat? Why is it rocking? We're going to have to make another expression video, aren't we? G'day you mob, how's it going? Welcome to this episode of Aussie English. Today, we're going to be going through five advanced English expressions to make you sound much more like a native speaker when speaking English. Now, if it's your first time here, guys, my name is Pete and I'm the host of Aussie English, a YouTube channel and podcast designed at helping you sound much more Australian and just level up your English in general. So, if your goal is to take your English to the next level, I've been helping people do that for over half a decade now. So, this is definitely the place for you. Now, before we get started, don't forget to go down into the description today and grab the worksheet that goes with today's lesson. You'll be able to follow along, take notes, read the exercises and everything as we cover them. And I'll also be able to send you all of the future worksheets so you'll never miss another lesson. Lastly, each of the expressions that we'll cover today, we've covered more in depth on the Aussie English podcast. So, if you want to check them out, you can do so in your own time. All right, let's go. Number one, to get wind of something, to get wind of something. This is to learn about something, usually a secret or something that you shouldn't necessarily know about or to hear a rumor. So, for example, the cops got wind of the criminals planning to rob the bank. Somehow, Jeff got wind of his surprise birthday party. I wonder who told him. Expression number two, to have a knack for something. Now, I have no idea what a knack is, a single knack. Do you have any knacks? But in the expression to have a knack for something, this means to have a talent for something, to be gifted at a certain ability or skill or task, to have a knack for it. So, for example, she has quite a knack for tennis. She's great at tennis, awesome at it. She has a knack for it. Pete has a knack for getting himself into trouble. It's true. Pete has a knack for getting himself into trouble. Expression number three, over my dead body. Over my dead body. It's a bit morbid. We say this in English to emphasize that something will never happen or that we would never allow it to happen. You're going to have to kill me and step over my dead body before that thing is going to happen. So, for example, hey, Mr. Smithson, can I marry your daughter? Over my dead body, mate. Over my dead body. Hey, Dad, can I uh, borrow your Ferrari for the weekend? Ha! Over my dead body, son. Over my dead body. You're going to have to kill me first, step over my body, and then you can have the car. All right, guys, before we keep going, can you do me a tiny little favor and give that like button a little boop? It'll boost this video in the algorithm on YouTube and hopefully show it to more English learners just like you. It really helps out small channels like mine. Thank you. Expression number four, to pull your own weight. To pull your own weight. This is to do your fair share when working in a group of people. So, you're pulling your own weight. And I think the idea would be, say, if you were in a boat rowing, you need to pull your own weight in the boat. Do your fair share and not let everyone else pull your weight. So, for example, the new guy at work needs to learn to pull his own weight or she just joined the rowing crew and she can definitely pull her own weight. Expression number five, to rock the boat, to rock the boat. This means to say or do something that will disturb an existing situation or upset people to rock the boat. You can imagine that if you're sitting in a little boat out at sea with a group of people in there and you suddenly start rocking it, they're probably going to be pretty upset. So, for example, excuse me, mate, I didn't mean to rock the boat, but is that your wife kissing that guy? Nah, don't worry, mate. It's my mum. Hey, wait, what? Mum? <laughs> just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Example number two. I've started a new job and I'm doing whatever the hell I'm told. I don't want to rock the boat. So, there you go, guys. They are the five expressions. Before we keep going, I'm going to show them on the screen and it's your chance to complete a little exercise, pause the video, pick one of the expressions and write your own example sentence using it in a comment below. See you in a sec. All right. Great job. How'd you go? 
Now, lastly, guys, this is the fun part of the lesson. We're going to do a little speaking exercise in English, obviously. So, in the last episode, we focused on the spoken contraction of the phrase would not have and how it becomes wouldna. You'll be able to check this lesson out by clicking the link up above here. Watch it after this video. In today's lesson, we're going to follow this pattern of contracted English exercises and we're going to contract the phrase did not want to, which becomes didn't wanna, didn't wanna, didn't wanna. And it has that syllabic N sound that we covered in the last lesson. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna. For example, he didn't wanna help. He didn't wanna help. He didn't wanna help. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat five sentences using the expressions from today's lesson. I'm gonna say the first sentence uncontracted, I'll repeat it then contracted, and we'll go through each of these five expressions. Let's go. She did not want to get wind of it. This is going to be good. Are you ready for this? She didn't want to get wind of it. She didn't want to get wind of it. There's a lot of contractions in that sentence. She didn't want to get wind of it. She didn't want to get wind of it. He did not want to have a knack for it. He didn't want to have a knack for it. He didn't want to have a knack for it. He didn't want to have a knack for it. I did not want to say over my dead body. I didn't want to say over my dead body. I didn't want to say over my dead body. They did not want to pull their own weight. They didn't want to pull their own weight. They didn't want to pull their own weight. Why not? They didn't want to pull their own weight. Don't forget that linking R in there. Their own. Their own. They didn't want to pull their own weight. You did not want to rock the boat. You didn't want to rock the boat. You didn't want to rock the boat. Great job, guys. Now, lastly, don't forget, if you want to level up your spoken English use of contractions like this and your pronunciation, check out both my spoken English course and my Australian pronunciation course. You can get access to them via the link in the description. They will help you learn things like the linking R that we went over in this episode, the muted T, linking T when we use T flaps, and the syllabic N, which we used in didn't, didn't. There's loads of stuff inside there. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.